Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. If you saw one of my most recent videos, I was talking about my mompreneur's guide to a laid back summer schedule. So currently my kids are done school now. We're in Canada, so we go to the end of June. But now all of a sudden, you know, my day-to-day -day work that I do as a virtual assistant, as an entrepreneur, I'm having to do it with, with my kids at home, which is fine. But there's obviously ways that we need to tweak our schedule in order to be able to still get our stuff done, but obviously have, you know, the summer that we want to have with our kids, whether it's experiences, whether it's staying at home, whatever your ideal summer is, we want to still be able to do that. But let's face it, we still have work to do. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it here. Definitely check it out. There was some um, good tips in it about how to have that laid back summer schedule and still get your work done. But I also thought this video, I should share how I create my schedule. So it's I guess three main steps, but the first main step is you need to know exactly what you want to do on, on a daily basis, what I need to accomplish. So this isn't really the time where you like dream up your ideal schedule. Of course you can, but we need to kind of lower our expectations because obviously it's summer and, and your kids at home are home. And if you have like little, little kids at home, you know, my kids are, you know, nine, seven and four, some of them can kind of go on their own and do their own thing. But still, you're having to be like super hands on, like I can't just let the four year old run around with with the nine year old, right? So everybody's stages are going to be different. But you still need to lower your expectations because they're going to want all the snacks or want going to want to do all the things and you need to have that mindset first. So you really need to think about what your main priorities are throughout the day. So mine definitely my number one priority, of course, my kids automatically are my number one priority, but my number one priority is my um, virtual assistant clients, right? Like this is my job. This is what I get paid to do. And I need to make sure that I am doing the work that they need me to do, right? So that is going to be my number one thing is virtual assistant clients. My next thing is obviously to be able to keep the home somewhat organized. Like I just, I love the summer for so many reasons, but one thing I do not like about the summer is the fact that we are literally always outside and when the kids come inside or anyone comes inside for two seconds you know things are just strewn about and nothing is ever cleaned up because you're always outside enjoying things right and yes this is great but it can also lead up to you know coming inside at 10 o'clock at night after being outside all day barbecuing fires whatever and then all of a sudden your house is trashed and you're too tired to do anything so you just go to sleep and then it's kind of the vicious cycle the next day so I definitely like to implement these resets and I have done them all the time and I still do them in the summertime because again, it just, things can get out of control really, really quickly. So I really wanna implement my resets in, in into my day, you know, like whether the kids are coming inside to help or whether it's just like, okay, kids, we're gonna go inside for 20 minutes and do this, this and this. We still need to make sure that we are maintaining an organized home and things are getting done, right? Because Let's face it, we all thrive on that as much as we don't want to admit it. We we do, at least I know I, I do. It makes me feel so, so much better. So we have virtual assistant clients. We have our resets and meal prep. So the reason I'm putting this down is again, to go along with the resets, right? You're outside, you're out and about, and all of a sudden it's like, you know, you haven't had lunch or the kids are eating cereal or you need to be prepared for this type of stuff. So for me, this looks like, you know, always having easy things like hamburgers, hot dogs, um, like charcuterie meats type of things, you know, like fruits and veggies always cut up, watermelon always on hand, popsicles, things like that that the kids really, really like. Um, waking up every day and having their water bottles filled, ice in the freezer, all this stuff that is going to be helpful for you. You need to prepare ahead. We always utilize more snack type of things in the summer. We'll use like our 
our Tupperware thing that's got, you know, all the little inserts. And that's how we do a lot of meals. You know, we'll do up some sandwiches, we'll do up some fruit, veggies, chips, pretzels, whatever it is, and have them all out. But that is definitely one of the main things that I like to focus on is having stuff like that prepped and ready to go so it's easy. So I'm not going to go into too much more detail about things I want to accomplish because these will kind of round out everything, but definitely virtual assistant tasks, definitely my resets, meal prepping, things like that. And then obviously having like my uninterrupted time with, with the kids. So where we're not on tablets, we're not on phones, we're not on anything. I'm not focusing on client stuff because I've already started my day doing that. So now that we know what our priorities are throughout the day, now we need to make our schedule, right? So I love time blocking. I'm a huge fan of it. For the most part, my days are made up of, I would say, six blocks of time. For me, this is the best way to work because then my brain knows, okay, you have two hours to do this and then we move on to the next thing, right? So it allows me to not really switch back and forth between home, life, you know, business, all this stuff. I'm more focused in those periods of time. So we would start off our time blocking with, let's say, our morning routine. So, you know, this is when the kids get up. We get dressed for the day, have breakfast, you know, we just, we, we get, we get ready. Okay. And then my next block of time is going to be my work block. This is what I'm going to test out. I'm going to start off the summer testing this out and we'll see what happens. For the most part, the kids in the morning seem to be able to, you know, whether it's sit in color, whether it's watch a movie whether it's on, on their tablet, this is when they seem to be more susceptible to me being like, okay, kids, mommy needs a couple hours, so please do do what you can. Sometimes this is spent on, on a tablet and, you know, I just, that's what I need to do to get stuff done. That's what I'm going to need to do. Sometimes all three kids are like super into playing downstairs and they're playing hide and seek. They're making plays, whatever. They're all getting along. Sometimes that happens too. It all depends. But I'm going to have this as my morning work block and see how it goes. Again, we can tweak this. The one thing you don't want to do is trying to do something that doesn't work. We kind of get stuck in this thing that we have to keep doing it, even though it doesn't work. But that's why our schedules and our time blocks don't work for us is because we're doing something because we've seen somebody else do it or we think this is the way that it needs to work. Maybe your work block needs to be moved into the afternoon. Maybe you have little kids at home that still nap and that what and that's what makes the most sense for you. Maybe you have to do it at night. I know right now that there are lots of times where I'm going to need to, you know, burn the midnight oil and do my work at night because the kids aren't just going to be cooperating. But again, that's an expectation that I already have in my head. And I just know that that's the way it's going to be this summer. So morning work block, activity for the kids, and then work for me. Now, for the most part, I should be able to, you know, do three or four hours of work a day. I'm not going to do that fully in this morning block. I'm just going to do a couple of hours and then I'll do whatever needs to be done at the end of the night or, you know, the next day, whatever it is. And then after that, hopefully by that time, it's probably lunch. So we'll do a lunch block and then we will do our family block. So whether we are going out, exploring, whatever it is all like kid stuff will be in there and then we will do our dinner block and then our evening block which will be you know baths showers getting ready for bed watching a movie popcorn all that type of stuff so this is basically how I'm gonna start my day and this is how we're gonna attempt to do it we will change things up as needed. For my morning work block, if you're in the same boat as me and you need to obviously be able to accomplish stuff, whether it's for your own business or you're working for somebody else, you need to know before you sit down what your priorities are for that block of time. So before I even start, I'm going to know like, you know, client X needs me to do this and that has to be done. I'm going to pick three top priorities 
And those are what I'm going to work for because I'm not going to start off my work block twiddling my thumbs, wondering what the heck I have to accomplish. And then I'm just wasting time. So I definitely need to know that beforehand. A lot of times in this evening block, I will go ahead and sit and kind of plan for my next day or do it early in the morning. But I always know what I'm sitting down to do. It's very, very important. I hope that gave you a little bit more insight as to exactly how to create your schedule. Your things will be different than mine. Maybe there's something similar, but it's really, really important to block those times out because it just, it's really, really helpful. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you're going to be using time blocking for your summer schedule. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.